Ear infections are the single biggest reason pediatricians prescribe antibiotics for children. But that could be changing because of new guidelines. Doug Johnson has details to help protect your child's health. Pain and discomfort. A lot of parents know the drill. Their kids, usually six or younger, suffer intensely. The technical term is otitis media, but moms and dads know it as an ear infection. That's when the passage connecting the middle ear to the throat swells and fluid builds up behind the eardrum. It's usually caused by a bacterial infection, so parents usually request and doctors often prescribe antibiotics. But after looking at the problem, the American Academy of Pediatrics is recommending some changes in dealing with ear infections. Well, basically their change in guidelines looks at the most common things that cause ear infections, ways to prevent them, and then the most common natural course of ear infections. And it also looks at the severity and the age of the patient in order to determine how to treat it. If a child is between two months and six years old, the AAP guidelines still call for immediate treatment if the doctor finds evidence of an infection, such as severe pain at a temperature of at least 102.2. The change comes if there aren't severe symptoms. Now for the kids where there's not severe pain, even if there is evidence of an ear infection, uh, and there's, a, there's not a high fever, so not a temperature above 102.2, they are now recommending like a possible 48 to 72 hour period of just watching and waiting and seeing if it resolves on its own. The ear infections can be painful. But studies show about 80% of them will clear up on their own in about a week. Now, 60% of kids with ear infections will be pain-free in about a day. The period of pain passes, the fever goes away, the body kind of takes care of it on its own. Another concern is overusing antibiotics. Some ear infections don't require really strong antibiotics, and other ear infections are viral, which means antibiotics don't help at all. They are there are signs that some of the bacteria that cause ear infections could be developing resistance to even the stronger antibiotics, which could make treatment difficult. So, if an ear infection doesn't seem too serious, doctors will encourage parents to treat their kids' pain with something like Tylenol or Motrin and skip the antibiotics. For Smart Medicine, I'm Doug Johnson.